What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Continuing with the 15 minute series, today we got a very popular one by which is going to be a core workout routine that you can do at the comfort of your own home. We're gonna be targeting our entire midsection, not only our six pack, but our lower abdomen, our upper abdomen, our external and internal obliques, as well as our posterior chain, and also some hip flexors and some compression work. This routine is for absolutely all levels, but if you're a complete beginner, I'm just gonna recommend that you check the easier modification up here and follow that, as well as resting as much as you need to during the entire routine because we're basically going to be going 15 minutes non-stop maybe three to five seconds the time that we get from one exercise to the other so i would recommend that you might start with 40 seconds on 20 seconds off of the exercise or simply rest as needed throughout the entire routine before we get into the routine i want to announce the winners from last video giveaway which is going to be aavv shitty ram and andrew barra you guys just won three months for free as a premium membership to the sm academy full access to the entire library of courses workout programs our individual moves so you can create your own workouts in our workout creator our hit section our mindfulness section our hybrid home workout experience our calisthenics skill section our mobility hand flexibility protocol section and basically everything that is the SM Academy. Remember that we post every Thursday at 12 p.m. EST so if you want to participate to get some SM free memberships make sure to comment within the first 60 minutes of the video to participate on the giveaway. With that being said I'll see you in your mind. All right, family, are you guys ready to die? Three, two, one, legs up, arms in front, boat hold, hold it for 30 seconds. Keep your chest slightly up, but keep a small contraction, or a strong contraction, on the bulk of your abs in this case. Warming up into the core only, as well as the hip flexors. Try to keep a posterior pelvic tilt throughout the entire practice or through the entire most of the movements to focus the attention mostly on the core. Lower down into a boat hole for 30 seconds. Here, super important that your lumbar spine is touching the ground. Small elevation and flexion on the upper thoracic. Pointed toes, legs strong together and hold. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. B ups all the way up and down. Now go for 60 seconds of those. Up, down, touch, down, and keep going. Try to compress your chest as much as possible into your thighs. More about touching your toes, it is about getting your torso to touch the legs as much as possible of course if you're doing the full version keep your legs fully extended so quads are fully engaged and the feet never touch the floor fifteen seconds left ten seconds left Three, two, one. Get your hands down. Posterior to your pelvis, stay in this low boat. You can relax your head. Now, we're gonna do leg raises. A little break now. We're gonna lower your legs as far as you can go, keeping your back in contact with the floor. If this is up to here, that's fine. If you can go all the way down, stay there. Now go for the 40 seconds that are remaining. So keep your core as tight as possible. This is not about lifting our legs up and down, but about the moment that we lower our legs, we are putting more tension into the core. So if you lower and this happens, don't do that and only go as low as you can. 20 seconds left. It's beginning to burn. Keep an exhalation as you lower down and inhale when you lift your legs up. Five seconds left. Three, two, 
One, keep your legs up. Now, hip raises. Bring it up towards the sky and down without lowering your legs. So go for 60 seconds of those. Now, the more closer my legs are to me, the easier the exercise is. If I'm doing this right here, it's gonna be easier. If I'm gonna be doing this right here, it's gonna be harder. So find your lever that allows you to keep going, feel the burn, and to make it too easy in yourself. 30 seconds left. This is the voice of reason. Excelling every time you push your hips up towards the sky, really crunching from the lower abdominals. 15 seconds left. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, and break. Lift your legs up. Now working on the upper core. Toe touch and down or as high as you can. Let's go for 60 seconds of those. Try to relax all the way down. Use the upper portion of your spine to raise yourself up. Very slow and control, holding for like two seconds as you go up. It's not this, it is this. You can even place your hands behind your head and don't even use your neck, but only the upper portion of your core. 30 seconds left, halfway there. Fifteen seconds left. Stay with me. Five, four, three, two, one. Open your arms in a T. Lower the right leg down. Twist and touch over towards the left. So go for thirty seconds on that side, and then we we'll switch. Rotating from the spine, you can support yourself with the opposite hand, but try not to use it that much. Posterior pelvic tilt, still engage. 10 seconds left on this side. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch it over. Touch the right leg with the left hand. 30 seconds here. Stay with me. Try to rotate as much as possible, even getting the hand past your toes. 10 seconds left, we're coming into a break. So stay with me, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and break. You're gonna shake to your core, maybe sit down, do whatever you need to do for only 30 seconds before we go into the second round or actually different exercises. So we're not gonna be repeating. We're simply gonna keep going. A little bit of a break for lower abs so we can perform the other exercise correctly. It's ideal. We begin in 10 seconds. Second part is a bit, a little bit more intense. Three, two, one, begin again with both hole just to warm up for the second time on your core. 15 seconds only here. Lift your chest. Remember, you can go into the top version. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower into both hole. 15 seconds here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Place your hands in the floor. So we're doing some scissors. Actually, up and down. Scissor will be this. Flutters, stay here. You can either be here or go with me up into a boat hole, doing the scissor and down. Flutters, actually, up and down. Actually, I know what I said, scissors. <laughs> it's easier. So if you want to modify this one, go into scissors, up and down. You can stay low if this is way too intense for you. Or stay with me, going up and down. Moving slow with control, trying to feel every vertebra as you lower down. <sighs> Maybe getting some momentum on the way up. 15 seconds left. Up. 10 seconds left. Down. Last one, up. Last one for me, five, four, three, two, 
One, stay on both hold, Russian twist, 60 seconds. It's not about touching the floor, but about driving the elbow back so we get some rotation in our core. 10 seconds in, 15 more to go. Keep your attention on your breathing as your right heart rate begins to rise. Use your breath to calm it down. We're halfway there. If you repeat this routine and it's too easy, you can grab a weight and do this. Small soft in the knees might come easier to you. Moving with control. 15 seconds left. I know core is burning. Hip flexors are also burning. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Right away, elbow plank, low plank hold. Be on your elbows, lower your hips down, posterior totally tilt, protract the scapula, depress the scapula, and hold. One minute here. To make it easier, drop into the knees. To make it harder, plantar flex. Heels together, legs together, squeeze together, core is tight. Not rounding too much from the spine, keeping a neutral spine as much as possible. Halfway there, glutes are also engaged. Time seems to pass a little bit slower when we're doing isometrics. 15 seconds left, stay with me. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. If you want a small break, you can take it. If not, go with me. Right elbow, right knee to right elbow, left knee to left elbow. Keep alternating, trying to keep the hips as low as possible for one minute. Really contracting the obliques. Rotating from the spine, getting the knee as close to the elbow as you possibly can. Don't lose the protraction of the scapula. Don't raise your hips too much. Halfway there, I shouldn't be speaking that much. Keep going. Fifteen seconds left. Almost there, eight seconds left. Three, two, one, side plank on your right. So adjust your elbow, align with the wrist, push your hips up, engage your obliques, stay here, hold one minute on each side. If you want an extra challenge, raise the right leg up, but do not sink the weight down, keep lifting your legs up. I'm gonna avoid the challenge for today, <laughs> but feel free to take it. And the easier modification, you can check it up, up there. Halfway there on this side. Stay strong. Keep lifting those hips. Keep breathing. Fifteen seconds left. Eight. Seven, six, <clears throat> five, four, three, two, one. Switch it over to the other side. Left elbow align with the heels of your feet. Push the hips up and hold for one minute. Halfway there, family. Let's go. Thirty seconds left. Fifteen seconds left. Almost there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, 
two, Superman lift, next one, adjust right away, now to work on the posterior chain, lay down on your back, lift your arms and legs, ideally at the same height, and hold for one minute. Glutes are engaged, hamstrings are engaged, legs are completely together, keep raising your arms up, thumbs facing to the outside to create external rotation, and hold. Try not to collapse into the lumbar spine, but lift the upper thoracic, lift the glutes, so keep extension halfway there. If this is too hard and that one is too easy, simply straddle your legs slightly bit. Or don't go as high. 20 seconds left, almost there. Just got one more exercise. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Push yourself up into a high plank, cross mountain climbers to burn it out. I want you to go fast, but not on control. Keep the rotation going, keep the hips as low as possible. Really feel the rotation of the oblique. 45 seconds left. It is the last one, so build as much capacity as you can. So the next, next time that you do this workout, it doesn't suck that much. Halfway there, stay with me. Twenty seconds left. Keep it going. Keep it going. If you need to rest five seconds, rest five seconds. Then resume the exercise. Almost there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release your knees down. Sit down into your heels. Place your hands in your lap. Take a moment to observe to dry your sweat and to breathe. Allow your eyes to close. I know you probably won't, don't want to be observing right now, but this is the time to integrate your practice, to observe the feeling of your body and mind, to allow any sensation to be here with you Be proud about yourself for making it this far. I don't want anybody here, here to feel discouraged for this practice. Look at me, I'm dying. <laughs> so if you couldn't make it through the, the whole thing, simply see it as a goal. Build yourself up to this routine. Rest as needed throughout the ex exercises. And as always, simply Continue to get better, continue to improve. It's never about the end line or the end result, but about the journey itself. Now let's go for five more rounds of those. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> well, you could, if you wanna go for more rounds of this whole routine, feel free to do it. As you probably know us, uh, I don't give you a six pack up workout, even though this will actually build a six pack of the muscles surrounding your entire core, as long as your diet is on point. But this is more of a functional, uh, we could call it that way, workout, a core workout that will improve your handstand, your front lever, all your calisthenics skills. It will make you just an overall more stable person in any other movements that you do. Feel free to do this routine every single day if you're feeling optimistic or alternate one day yes, one day no. You can also do it as a warm up before your workouts or you can also do it at the end of your main workouts. Or again, do this for three or four rounds. It'll be one hour long of core and I guarantee you're gonna get a six pack for sure, as long as your diet is in check. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment down below what else would you like to see on this channel, what else would you like to see on the 15 minute series, and we'll make sure to do that. With that being said, I'll see you all next week. Much love. That was definitely a 10 for sure. I don't know, you guys let me know down below, but for me that was hard, 100%.
If you, want, if you want, was too easy, you can put some ankle weights, or again, you can do it for three to four rounds, but if that routine is easy for you, congratulations, you are a total piece. Subscribe, we love you.